Hi, this is Minutes Modeler Paul with a update on the Dreadnought, uh, me and uh, Greg Riley's uh, buddy builds. Um, I've got quite a bit away, but as it, it, with ships it never seems to be big, big uh, steps and because of obviously small assemblies. Now I have started to put uh, paint in a little bit and put wooden decks on and I've even actually got the compasses on in two locations on the, the, the lower bridge, the main bridge and the upper bridge as well. So obviously on a nice day they went up the top post probably. Anyway, but you can see, you'll see what, what I mean. And I use brass for that. I've got a book in it, uh, of drawings and it, it looks all brass. And to be honest, when the ship was built and it was in peacetime, I suppose, at the time, uh, there was a lot of polishing done on ships and grounds of brass bits and pieces and, and uh, these would be brass but they may have been painted f uh, during war period i don't know and then then clean back to brass who knows but anyway but i like them looking brass it gives a definition between the um the actual grace and and and, there, and it's very minute and all you can you know, you'll most probably only see the top one but you could be able to see the other one from the side so anyway let, let's go down to the, to the bench and have a look and uh, see how things go Well, we're back, and uh, as you can see, um, uh, the, I've, this the white plastic strip. I think I might have mentioned it on the previous video. I'm not sure, but I'll mention it again. That is the actual bit. The actual uh, rates come slightly away from the hole, and that is where the actual um, the netting, anti torpedo netting, uh, lays all the way along that white strip, and 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 then the actual uh, railings go inside on the normal part of the deck. So that's the reason for it. Later on, it looks like in 19. Um, for the 1980 version they would removed it because when I look in the photographs I can't see it there at all but you can see it on the earlier ones so which is n nice and um, so that's there and that won't be obviously staying like that I've um, test fitted the deck there to make sure it all fits okay so when I actually spray the the parts that I can actually put the deck on now the Nelson's learnt me a lesson and uh, I watched a uh, Harry Houdini's once and he was using a bit of uh, wood glue white glue to actually put his deck down as well and, and I, although I semi glossed the uh, the deck the plastic deck it, it started to come up in some place not everywhere just some place so what I'm doing now is lifting up and putting some of this wood glue in place so I'm I'm glad I've I've actually stopped building that for in that way uh, b uh, because basically I can keep an eye on that now for a little while to make sure it doesn't come up get and then I can start putting all those mushroom uh, mushrooms up uh, as um, uh, as um, Ron Calvary talk calls them so do that so now here we go I'm going to zoom in a bit more for the for the ship so you can see. Uh, what I've done, I'm going to go too much further there, uh, but basically what I've done here is you can see, you should be able to see the decks there and you might, yeah, you can see the actual uh, bits on there. I've got the, the top bridge that goes on the roof of this one, that the actual, where the, where the captain would be on board. I um, see the brass one on there and the brass one on there. That they, I'll try and get a bit closer to them. I might be able to do that, so sorry about that. Might have to go down a little bit and then zoom in I don't want to pick them up because they are quite delicate there you go I think that's good enough you'll see what I mean so the decking is down I have to trim the decking on this one to fit because but I forgot to put it on first but I'm glad I did not put it first on first really because it allowed me to cut it and trim it to shape to fit in place and it uh, kept it all uh, at the fence in and the 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 actual fencing all around it in really nice order and same with this bit down here I've got some some more bits to go on uh, on on both and there they are uh, there is more as you can see my fingers they've got to be trimmed off and dropped into place a uh, two either side of that brass one that brass uh, compass and then same on this bit there's two on either side there so there I'm there I've got um, six in total so that's good there's extras also There's all the guns, you can see the break. Uh, what I can do is individually, if I think there's a bit of paint missing, I can take it with a bit of brush. But they've all been sprayed, undercoated, and, and they've got the brass barrels on there as well. And I think you can see a bit of brass on one, so I've got to definitely go back in there. I can spray them individually, the ones that I need need to touch up, much easier than I can do them on the sprue. So I've done these on a blue tack, put them all on blue tack, and then basically that was it. So that's that done. The headlights have headlights, what am I saying? The searchlights have been cleaned and you can see the indentation i drilled them out and then i burred them out with a burr and so they're all okay now ready to have a bit of uh, silver put inside 
and then the crystal clear as well so they're all that the search lights will be like this so that'd be okay i'm happy with that the mast oh the walkway i'll i'll get up here the walkway uh, was done and you can see the both of those and then I had a breakage just about here you can see just blow my finger and when you are when you level up it's joined nicely but it just looks a bit odd like that but uh, it was fiddly to do as you can expect it's far smaller than uh, the one two hundred first ship so very fiddly but I'm really pleased with how it turned out though it still looks the part and that's the main thing for it as well the mast you know I've done the mast brass mast and here they are here it is. Oh, it's just come here. There you go. I managed to, I broke off my plastic bit and I had the bit still broken and I've glued it together and it's all gone on there. So now I've actually got it how it should look. And there you go. And have the roof put on later. I might spray in there and then put the roof on. I'll put the roof on and spray in afterwards. I might spray paint by brush inside there. So you can see there. So that was that one. So I can't put it up there now, I've got to go careful. There you go, that goes back on there. So there's the detail parts. And now I'm going to go back up to the chimneys, so you can see the funnels, I should say. There you go. Sorry about the motor camera, I should stop it really, be a bit more professional. But as you can see, what I've done is I've done the, all the photo etch details on it, but I also, um, one of those has got a better move on this one. I'm going to move that back because uh, they, they do move. You can just bend them back into position. But they've been done. But I changed the um, these the funnels. If I take this one, I'm zoomed in now, aren't I? So that's not so clever. Oh, there you go. You can see I've done that, and I've actually got holes in my brass pipes. See it? Yeah, there you go. And there's a detail inside, believe it or not. So it's quite a bit in such a small panel and the walkways on either side. There you go. I'll put that back over there. With the, with the paint on it, it looked quite nice, I think. Yeah, that's it, it's the way it goes. Just sits on it like that. That one there has got a bit more detail on it. There you go. And you've got the walk with the ladder. And I managed to get the gaps for the ladder. Now it looks a bit big on here when you do it. Oops. But uh, that one's better over that side. I've got to push that one in. That'd be easy enough to do. But these pipes again. Excuse my fingers. There's the detail on it. And the, 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 I've actually bored out the tunnel, the bridges, the actual funnels on there, both of these. Oops. There you go. Really nice. Well, I'm really pleased with that because it, it does look better and that, that one there could be pushed in a bit and now it's gone as it should do so that's okay so that the, there was a lot of fiddling around over there uh, we both had fun with that I think so sorry the, the single pipe goes to the front and the two pipes go to the back one you can't make no mistakes because it's only got one linkage but the other one hasn't so yeah, so got them on there, and uh, so we're moving along nicely. And I've already I've primed and sprayed these of the correct colour. So when I cut them up, I won't have to touch them up to actually put them on when we do the actual rains all around the ship. So that's good. So things are moving, uh, but not as fast as they could do. Oops, go the other way. But them decks are only just sitting there, just that's my test fit. So I've got to spray all that first before I go. So there you go. So quite pleased, as I said, uh, things have been moving along, but not not so fast. And um, I'm going to do a bit of little gluing on my uh, Nelson a minute in the deck because it's a little weary. No, I know it is. I'm using wood glue again, and cause, and I'm and I've done that on this. All the wood that's been done here has actually been pre-cut. I actually got the paintbrush out and painted some white uh, glue, wood glue around it there to give it the extra strength as well. And and that, and that they are really down nicely, really nicely indeed. So there you go. So that is the HMS Dreadnought, the Trumpeter Kit 1350th um, Dreadnought. And I'm really happy that I've got that. Now I've got another 
kit this national dynamis is going to come in and you'll see them in. this is hms war sport this is a trumpet one everyone said about the um academy one is the best one so not knowing i've I got this one and i've been told about the detail differences should be there and, and what not there but but at the end of the day when it comes to if it's it's built in it i've got the the wooden deck coming for it and everything so this is hms war spike and i'll put it like that there she is Yeah, and that's the length of one. Length is uh, five, five, 558 millimeters, and the beam is 82.4 millimeters. I never put the height on them because that's what I was interested in as well. The height, so if you do anything, but I've got a case for this later on anyway, so so that's okay. So there she is, that's one of me. That's a, a stash update, and there is another uh, stash update in regards to. The HM Dreadnought, uh, I've got the 1918 version, so now I will have the very first version and the la last version. And the last version does, has all the uh, torpedo net to disappear and, and anything to do with the actual hanging out there as well. So there you go. Oh, there's one little thing, and I've got to tell Red Greg this. I saw the fact that there was some stuff uh, that he sent me for the, for the actual torpedo the actual to simulate the netting on the side. And when I put it up against it, to me it looked as if it was going to overhang. And when I've seen on the photographs, it isn't. So I saw something yesterday and and got it. And it came quickly. And now this is 1.2 and it's black. So I'll be able to take paint. But now when I put that up against it, it doesn't look so big. And so I'm, so I'm going to go with this one, Greg. And I didn't get much of it. I only got a, a yard, just enough to do it, to see if, if, see if it fitted, because I didn't think it would. And it's got that metal bit in it. So it's going to be a bit of a pain when they get to the middle. But I think it's uh, it's going to be a bit easier and it looks I think it looks more to scale if I do this. I think so. So so I'll be going oh be going with that and I'll send send the link to you. Sorry about that. I don't know when it comes off. There you go, but it's gonna go back in the pot in a minute. <laughs> so there you go. So that's what I've got it's one point two and so it's a I think it's a more in scale size to it because uh, it's going to look about not far off the height of the railings when it goes along the side either because when the photographs are seen the railings are slightly above it so that's what I thought I just kept thinking about it so well Greg if you, if you see this first anyway but I'm going to let you know in a minute in a, on a on a text before I put this upload all this anyway so I'm going to be adding some more details that I can add before I put the deck down and so I can spray this section completely with all the bits that need that to add into it in the first place so anyway and as you can see it gets some shots quite easily this one so thank you very much for watching happy modeling and um um Bronco over had some nice news so that's that's good um we've still got a problem but he's had some good news and that's really great and and um, i must admit i didn't see some last night's um uh, video uh, uh, this morning for David breakfast because it was it actually come up while I was looking at the screen so I watched it and it was a sh not, uh, short one so so I watched it already so I had to fill a gap with something else it's terrible Ron's let me down anyway thank you very much and I'll catch you on the next one happy modeling